Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSE Information and Communication Technology Paper 3 for May June 2022, Variant 3.2 You are supplied with the following files, we have the files here First you need to create an evidence document, so open a word document and you need to save this as J223 evidence followed by your center number and candidate number. So let's save this. Save inside your folder. It should be saved as J2232 evidence followed by your center number and candidate number. insert in the header your candidate details next task is spreadsheet you are going to create a spreadsheet make sure that the Tavara currency should be set to dollar with two decimal place open and examine the files cost currency and project so open cost currency and project place in cost file left aligned in the header your name center number and candidate number so this is the cost file insert header and footer left aligned your name center number and candidate number and right aligned uh, the automated file name and file path so right align automated file name and file path so you can select file path so that both of them will be displayed and save this as a spreadsheet with the name cost followed by your center number and candidate number so let's save as the name is cost followed by your center number and candidate number and you have to save it as excel workbook you can come back to the normal view go to view normal make sure all the data are visible properly enter a formula in cell c5 to look up the project name using the project code for the value and the external file project.csv for the array so if you check the project file you can see the project codes are given and the corresponding names are given so using this file we have to enter the formula in cell c5 so in cell c5 we have to get the project name based on this project code so we can use a vlookup function vlookup the lookup value will be the project code the table array will be the projects table The column index will be 2 because the project name is in the second column. So 2 and then 0 for exact match. Give OK. Enter a formula in cell G5 to display the ISO of the currency for the country displayed in cell D5. So in cell G5 we have to get the ISO for the country displayed in cell D5 so the ISO can be obtained from the currency file you can see the currency file is given here we need to get the ISO based on the country now in this case we cannot use the VLOOKUP function because country is in the second column always the lookup value must come before the value which we need 
so let's use an x lookup function equal to x lookup so in x lookup the lookup value will be country as given in the question lookup array will be go to the currency file lookup array will be the column in which your lookup value consists of country so the lookup array will be that country column in this file so this is the country column and result array will be the column from which you need the answer return array is the column from which you need the answer so we need ISO so the return array is this column these two are optional you just have to enter these three values so give ok so you can see the lookup value we have taken and the lookup array is from the cur currency table and the result array from the currency table next we have to enter formula in cell h5 to calculate the cost in Tavera dollars by dividing the cost in local currency by the exchange rate so the cost in local currency is given here we have to get the cost in Tavara dollars by dividing this value by exchange rate so if you check the currency table you can find the exchange rate in the fourth column here so now we already got the ISO based on ISO we can look up the exchange rate so equal to cost in local currency divided by exchange rate has to be looked up so we have to use a VLOOKUP function so we look up the lookup value is ISO the table array is the currency file and the column index will be 4 because exchange rate comes in the fourth column so column index is 4 and the range lookup is 0 give ok so it is F5 which is cost in local currency divided by a VLOOKUP function which is used to look up the exchange rate from currency file replicate the formula entered in steps 2, 3 and 4 for all transactions so you have to replicate the project name then the ISO and cost in Tavera dollars merge cells a1 to h1 a1 to h1 we have to merge insert a new row between rows 3 and 4 rows 3 and 4 so insert and a new row between rows 1 and 2 now between rows 1 and 2 so select 2 right click insert format rows 1 to 6 to look like this you can see there is a fill color in cells a1 to g1 so let's give fill color black and phone color white you need to increase the phone size and it is bold next you can see rows 2 and 5 are partly hidden so row 2 you have to make it like this and 5 also these two are bold and all these labels are bold 
bold and centered bold centered both vertically and horizontally horizontally then vertically now you need to make sure this text trap is applied for these cells so this is text wrap click on text wrap now you can adjust the width project code increase the width of row 6 then we have cost in local currency on two lines then local currency ISO and cost in Tavara dollars apply appropriate formatting to the values stored in columns H so we have to set these values to dollar width to decimal place as given in the question so select this column right click format cells currency dollar with two decimal place save the spreadsheet print your spreadsheet showing the formula so first let's show the formula go to formulas show formulas make sure all the formula are visible so click at this corner and double click on the border so that it fits properly now let's go to print so file print you can make sure the orientation is landscape then row and column headings are visible so to show row and column headings go to page setup sheet row and column headings give ok and the contents of cells are visible so make sure the contents are visible next print the spreadsheet showing the values so go back remove the formula adjust the width and now you have to print this on a landscape page contents of all cells are fully visible and its width fits on a single landscape page and row and column headings are not displayed so go to file print first make sure the row and column headings are not visible go to sheet remove row and column headings now we have to make sure everything fits on a page just it's already fitting you can just give fit all columns on one page sort the data into date order with the oldest date first so click somewhere inside the data on data you will see sort so you need to sort according to the date with the oldest date first so oldest days first so oldest to newest give ok next extract only the data where the country is either Indonesia or Malaysia so to extract we need to do filter again click somewhere in the data go to data filter you can see the filter buttons here click on this 
we need only Indonesia or Malaysia so you can remove all this click on Indonesia and Malaysia give ok so only those countries are visible and now you need to print this so step 14 is printing the data which we extracted remove the extract selection criteria so that all the data is visible so let's uh, remove the filter just clear the filter sort the data into ascending order of country so we'll sort data sort country ascending order A to Z give ok so it is sorted extract only the data where the ISO is EUR so the filter button is active here you can see filter here so to go to ISO we need only EUR so remove the selection and select only EUR give ok and the date is before March 2022 so we have the date here before March 2022 so March is not needed only January and February give ok so we got all the dates before March 22 So now we need to print this data. So step 17 is printing this data. So this is the end of the spreadsheet task. Web page will be done in another video. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for now.